Hi, this is Chris with Laughter on Water. In this episode, I'm going to show how to install a scanner driver for a legacy scanner that I have. Currently, I have Windows 7 64-bit, uh, but my scanner, the Epson Perfection 1650, will only work with a 32-bit scanner driver. So what I needed to do was find something that would be a 64-bit scanner driver. So I did a little bit of digging on Google, and this is the Epson.com driver area. But on uh, Google, I also found this forum, and I'll have the link in the show notes. Uh, this is the Windows 7 forums. And uh, from here, this particular link from Ian, who's an administrator of the forums, he shared this link here, which gave me the correct drivers for this. And all I need to do is use a uh, program called 7-Zip to extract the files right here. And once the files are extracted, the next thing I need to do is go to my uh, device, the Epson scanner, which is already plugged in. And you'll notice that it's got this little uh, exclamation point, the yellow exclamation point triangle usually means that the driver isn't working properly. So I'm going to update the scanner the scanner software and I'm going to browse my computer for the scanner software and now that I'm in the folder for the scanner drivers I'll click next and allow the software to install Windows can't verify the publisher I'm going to install the software driver anyway and now my Epson Perfection 1650 is being viewed by my Windows 7 64-bit machine. Let's try a scan. So I've never tried it in here. I'm going to need to select the Twain driver and let's try scanning. And I'm going to use the professional mode. Some forum members suggest this is actually the driver for the Epson Perfection 1660, but the driver seems to work fine on my system. If you have legacy hardware that existed before 64-bit machines were the norm, Chances are that someone like you has already faced the same challenge and may have found a solution for you. One additional caveat, I ordinarily don't suggest downloading software from sites like RapidShare or other file sharing services unless you know the sharer, have a working ship relationship with the sharer, or in this instance, you know that the sharer is the administrator of a very public and well-trafficked site like W7 Forums. This is Chris with Laughter on Water. Thanks for watching.